Hi guys, hope you are doing good. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, Animal Bios. And uh, today I am going to uh, explain a very good cat breed. And uh, here I will tell you all the things about that cat breed, cat breed the health issues, their caring needs, uh, their characteristics, their fun facts. And I will explain all the things uh, about that cat breed. And, uh, and this cat breed is very unique and uh, very beautiful cat and uh, I hope many of yours uh, will have this cat as your home and uh, I hope you will like the video and please uh, see the video till the end uh, to know much more about this type of cat breed so without any, any wait and taking your time I will start the video so the cat that you're looking in the picture is uh, named as Havana Brown Cat Breed uh, this cat breed is very uh, playful cat and very alert and very intelligent cat and its weight is about 6 to 10 pounds. Uh, the length is uh, about 18 inches and uh, the coat length is not uh, very uh, long. It's a short uh, to medium length hair coat. While the coat colors are not, uh, are, it comes in uh, rich in even shade of warm brown color, tend to a red brown. Uh, rather than black brown so their coat pattern is uh, mostly solid and uh, the eye color that comes in this cat breed is uh, vivid and uh, level shade of green and when it comes to their life uh, span uh, uh, their lifespan is about 10 to 15 years and they're not very hypoallergenic cats and their origin is uh, the United Kingdom uh, now we'll explore some uh, um, characteristics of this type of cat. So, every cat, of course, has its own personality as general rule. <coughs> Sorry, I want a brown cat tend to be very friendly and uh, sociable and interested in everything happening within their home. They enjoy interaction with their humans and will happily spend time uh, peering on their owner's lap and engaging in a spirited game of catch the ribbon are being, are being brushed or stroked and if their favorite human isn't available our browns are generally more than happy to play with other household pets uh, both Fallon and Cannon and they get, get along uh, with children as well our adult Havana brown cats are a medium size with a somewhere muscular appearance uh, that is graceful in action and uh, when not investigating, socializing or playing, they are likely to be engaging in other of their favorite activities uh, that are taking a nice long nap, possibly on their owner's pillow or chair. They are very affectionate and their affection level is very high and they are very kid friendly. Uh, their intelligence level is very high and uh, when we talk about their energy, they are very high energy kids and uh, they do not need much exercise uh, the medium exercises also uh, make them fit uh, and the amount of shedding is also low in them uh, now i will tell you about the history of the Havana brown cat the Havana brown cat came to be first uh, we must travel back to late 19th century century england uh, during this time solid brown cats called south brown cats were being exhibited at british cat shows uh, under race name zone of which says Swiss mountain cat and uh, these brown cats look a lot like uh, Samsa but rather than blue eyes they had green eyes as the story goes the Samsa cat club of Britain issued an addict in 1920 uh, stating that that uh, Samsa may only have blue eyes not green so as a result the solid brown cats uh, slowly disappeared and fast forward to the 1950 and some English cat breeders decided that they would like to uh, recreate that lost brown cat from the past. And the group began researching color genetics and uh, performing breeding experiment until they identified how to produce a self brown cat. Uh, these really found a uh, success when a self brown male kitten named Praha Jipka was born via breeding between a solid black short hair cat and a chocolate point samsi <coughs> sorry 
uh, around the same time an accidental uh, breeding took place between a solid black short hair cat and a seal point sensei uh, that breeding resulted in another brown male kitten uh, Antober bronze Ardell, the first cat to be registered in England as a Havana Brown. Anton Tower Bronze Ardell today is considered the forerunner of the Havana Brown breed. So this is the history of this cat that uh, how this cat came into being. Two North American cat registers recognize the Havana Brown definite, differently. Uh, the Cat French Association and the Canadian Cat Association both recognize the breed as Havana Brown. The International Cat Association recognized it as Havana. Mm, the care is also needed for this cat. So uh, today I, I will tell you that how you can take care of this type of cat. So the Havana Brown short smooth coat requires minimal grooming. Uh, brush once a week with a soft slicker or rubber curry brush to remove the loose hair uh, to give the coat a brilliant shine. Polish it with cameos cloth after brushing. So keep your one of brown cat's nails trimmed short and check inside the ears weekly if you see any dirt in the ears use a <coughs> sorry use a pet ear cleaner cleanser to clean the ears using a cotton ball never stick anything like a cotton swab into the cat's ear uh, that's harmful for them and if the ear looks red inflamed or excessively dirty or if you uh, see your havana brown shaking it had or scratching at the ears call for an appointment with your Pedernia. Havana Browns are naturally active and curious, so it's easy to encourage daily exercise with indoor enrichment and play. Uh, bring out twice a uh, few times daily and engage your Havana Brown in play. Uh, the breed is quite frisky and many love to play fetch with small toys like a dog might. And uh, give your Havana Brown plenty of climbing opportunities uh, as well with cat trees, shelving or kitty condos. Scratching it is also an enjoyable and natural outlet for cats that helps exercise their leg and paw muscles along with keeping their nails in tip-top shape. Provide your Havana Brown with several acceptable scratching places including vertical scratches, uh, horizontal scratchers, cardboard or sizzle scratchers that lie flat on the ground. They have also some common health problems so you don't you need to know about their health problems so you can make them safe from them any cat can develop a health issue during its life some pedigree cat breeders are more prone to certain uh, congenital health problems however the Havana brown has no known specific condition even so it's a good idea to buy a kitten from a breeder who offers a health uh, guarantee of some kind uh, now I will tell you the exact appearance, the beautiful appearance of this Havana Brown cat. Uh, the Havana Brown is a striking cat that, in the thanks to its sleek and shiny coat, which is a warm brown from the tips of its ears to the tip of its tail. Even the whiskers and nose are brown, while Havana Brown kittens and young adults might have very faint tabby stripes, uh, showing through their coats. These ghost markings should fade away by the time the cat research mature adulthood. The coat is fairly short although some individual cats might have a bit longer fur. Uh, their eyes are very dazzling green eyes are another hallmark of the breed and uh, any even color of vivid green is permitted by our breed standard but the deeper the better some of these cats have uh, emerald green eyes that are truly spectacular against their brown coats. Uh, the overall shape of head is somewhat triangular, uh, which is a note to the breed Sam's heritage. Uh, diet and nutrition, the most important thing. Havana Browns like to eat. Uh, take care to ensure your Havana Browns doesn't eat too much and gain too much weight. Keeping your cat lean may help to prevent certain weight related health issues like diabetes, heart diseases and arthritis. Feed a year's amount of healthy cat food at regular times twice a day for adult cats. Uh, free feeding uh, and can lead to snacking and contribute to obesity. And if you are not sure what to feed your Havana Brown, talk to your attorney or breed it for advice. 
uh, i hope uh, you have enjoyed the video i have almost all i have uh, covered all the uh, interesting facts about this type of cat and uh, if you want to keep this cat at your home it's a very beautiful brown cat and it's very affectionate and social cat to keep at home uh, i hope you enjoyed the video please uh, like the video and subscribe my channel to watch new informative video of cat breeds uh, bye for this time thank you thank you very much for watching the video goodbye have a nice day